In this video, we'll do an introduction to moments and center on mass. This will be part one of a collection of two videos. Now, for an example, let's say if we had two children weighing 15 and 20 kilograms sitting on opposite sides of a seesaw, where they're both two meters from the axis of revolution. Now, let's say if the one weighing 15 kilograms was on the left of the picture, and the one weighing 20 kilograms was to the right on the picture, then the seesaw would be going downwards on the right hand side because since they are at equal distance from the axis of revolution, the center, um, and the one on the right weighs more, then that will be pushing the seesaw down further. But now, we want to place, a, for some reason, uh, a 10 kilogram toddler on the seesaw. Now where would we place uh, the 10 kilogram toddler on the seesaw in order to achieve equilibrium. That means that the seesaw will be balanced and all will be suspended in the air. Now the moment of each child is m times x where m is the moment is the mass of the child and x is the distance from the middle. Now equilibrium will be achieved when the sum of the moments of each child is equal to zero. So adding up the moments for each child, and let's call that capital M, that's equal to negative 2 times 15 plus 2 times 20 plus, then we'd have x times 10 because we don't know what um, x is, so um, that would be our variable in this case. And we'll end up with the equation negative 2 times 15 plus 2 times 20 plus x times 10 equal to 0 because we want to have equilibrium. Solving that equation, we'd have negative 30 plus 40 plus 10x equals to 0. Um, we end up with 10x equals to negative 10. Solving for x, we get x is negative 1. That means that the toddler should be placed um, 1 meter to the left of the center. And when they do that, then all three children will be balanced on the seesaw um, and will achieve equilibrium. Now that was a two-dimensional example. Let's talk about, a, sorry, that was a one-dimensional example. Let's talk about a two-dimensional example. And let's suppose you had four weights that are played on a square, let's say a cookie sheet. And we're wondering where should we place a balance pole underneath the sheet so that the sheet will be at equilibrium, will be balanced on the pole. Now to help with this, we will need some definitions. Now the moment measures the tendency of a mass to produce rotation. So this is a quantitative value, and if, let's say if the moment was equal to zero, then there is zero rotation. So it would be at equilibrium um, for that value. Now suppose an object with mass m is placed at the point x, y, and the object the object is called a point mass. The moment of the point mass about the y-axis is defined to be m times x. Now suppose a collection of objects with masses m sub 1, m sub 2, up to m sub n, located at the points x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2, and up to x sub n, y sub n. Then the moment capital M sub y of the collection of point masses about the y-axis is said to be the sum of the moments of the individual point masses about the y-axis. So this uh, capital M sub y is equal to M sub 1 times X sub 1 plus M sub 2 times X sub 2 plus dot 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 M sub n times X sub n. Similarly, the moment capital M sub x of the point masses about the x-axis is equal to capital M sub x equals to M sub 1 times Y sub 1 plus M sub 2 times Y sub 2 plus up to uh, plus M sub n Y sub n. Now the center of mass, which is also called the center of gravity, which is also called the centroid of the collection of point masses is given by X bar, where X bar will be the X coordinate of the center of mass, which is equal to the capital M sub Y divided by M where m will equal to the sum of the masses. So this is equal to m sub 1 times x sub 1 plus m sub 2 times x sub 2 plus dot 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 m sub n sub x sub n all divided by that m, the sum of the masses. 
Now the y coordinate of the center of the mass, which is y bar, is equal to capital M sub x divided by m, which again is the sum of the masses. So that's equal to m sub 1, y sub 1, plus m sub 2, y sub 2, plus all the way up to plus m sub n, y sub n, divided by that m, again, the sum of the masses. Now let's use that for an example. Let's say that we have a mobile consisting of three weights attached to a square piece of cardboard of negligible weight to be suspended from the ceiling by a string. Assume that the weights have masses uh, 45, 30, and 25 grams respectively. Now suppose that a coordinate system with origin at the center of the square has been set up and that the respective points at which the weights are attached to the square are the point 3, negative 1, the point 4, 2, and the point 1, or sorry, the point negative 1, 1 in this coordinate system. Determine the center of gravity of the mobile. That'll be where should we place the string so that the square will be balanced. Now first, uh, finding the sum of the masses, that'll be uh, little m is equal to 45 plus 30 plus 25, which is equal to 100. Next, finding the x-coordinate of the center of mass, so x-bar equals to 3 times 45 plus 4 times 30 plus negative 1 times 25, all divided by 100. That's equal to 2.3. Now, the y-coordinate of the center of mass is y-bar equals to negative 1 times 45 plus 2 times 30 plus 1 times 25, all divided by 100, and that's equal to 0 0.4. So the string should be attached at the point 2.3 comma 0.4. That way if we do that, then the square um, piece of cardboard holding the uh, mobile will be balanced.